The government of St. Lucia has airmarked the Canaloo building for demolition, signaling a step towards the transformation of Castries East. Soon, the derelict structure near the entrance to the Marsha community will be removed, paving the way for a vibrant and welcoming gateway to Marsha. This initiative marks the beginning of infrastructure works aimed at the beautification of Castries East. So the government of St. Lucia in March of this year acquired, compulsorily acquired the Kalalu building. So this, this building, well, the property has a derelict building on it and we are in the process of demolishing this building. While the property is presently inhabited by an individual, the current state of the Kalalu building poses risks to the community with its derelict structure attracting potential hazards. Recognizing the importance of community safety and well-being, the government has decided to demolish the building. This action not only aims to create a safer environment, but also to enhance the aesthetic appeal of the area. The MP for Castries East, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, is committed to ensuring that suitable provisions are made for the individual who currently resides there, thereby ensuring a win-win scenario for both the community and the resident. There is somebody who currently lives there, gentlemen. Um, we are in discussions with him. We have identified a lot for him, and we will assist him in, in putting up a structure on that property. So we will ensure that he's out and comfortable before we demolish the building. Honorable Philip J. Pierre, MP for Castries East, says the demolition of the Callaloo building is part of a broader effort to beautify Castries East. Ongoing improvements at Mindu Philip Park and the commencement of works at Masha Grounds demonstrate the government's commitment to enhancing public spaces. Additionally, plans for a new pan yard at Mindu Philip Park and renovations at Belgrave Court will further contribute to the area's revitalization.